What we're going to cover today is an overview of steel deck diaphragms. We're going to uh, address some of the building code references from the IBC as well as ASCE 7. We'll talk about the components of the steel deck diaphragms and some of the background research and the history behind how we've gotten to where we are now with the various industry standards about steel deck diaphragms. We'll also talk about the design methods and how uh, the diaphragm strength and stiffness or flexibility and deflection are calculated. I have two example problems that I'll cover today uh, for an untopped steel deck roof diaphragm as well as a concrete floor diaphragm. Uh, we'll close the session with some um, discussion on design resources and references that are available to structural engineers and practitioners for diaphragm design and also uh, discuss future developments and some research and where are the code bodies and standards development bodies headed with steel deck diaphragms in the future. There's a few key, key points before we jump into the presentation. Um, these steel deck diaphragm test standards and the design methods, they've existed for quite a while. Uh, the SDI method, which I'll get into in greater detail, the steel deck diaphragm uh, Institute method that was developed in the 1980s and that's carried through to today. Um, one of the other developments that's happened more recently, though, is the American Iron and Steel Institute, AISI, has codified the SDI method and produced a new uh, design standard that's designated AISI S310. So this will be the design standard that will be incorporated into the International Building Code, the IBC 2018. Um, and it more or less follows the SDI method, but there are some uh, slight modifications to it that I'll describe later in today's presentation. Um, since steel deck diaphragms have been used uh, in practice under seismic events and also wind loading events, um, there really haven't been any um, major problems that have been reported using these design methods. There have been some issues related to some recent high wind events, whether it was the uh, tornadoes in Joplin, Missouri, or some other uh, incidents with high wind, um, but nothing really has uh, been reported of failures per se with uh, steel deck diaphragms due to seismic events. Um, another point is that research is always ongoing from manufacturers in the steel decking industry and fastener manufacturers, as well as the codes and standards development bodies. And um, there are also some activities that are ongoing re related to seismic design options for diaphragm de dependent structures. Um, diaphragm design currently limits the behavior to elastic performance but there might be some possibilities in future versions of the code and standards to allow for some inelastic behavior of the diaphragm as well. In the International Building Code 2015, the provisions for diaphragms uh, are primarily, for steel deck diaphragms are primarily covered in chapter 22. And you can see there's three main sections, uh, 22 point, or 2210.1, 0 0.1.1, 0.1.2, and 0.1.3. And those address uh, three different ANSI SDI standards that exist. Uh, one is for non-composite non steel floor decks. The second is for steel roof decks. And the third is for composite slabs. These ANSI and Steel Deck uh, Institute standards are available free for download off of the SDI website. Uh, that's at www.sdi.org. And those uh, three different methods are uh, permitted for design and construction of non-composite uh, steel floor decks, steel roof decks, untopped, and also topped composite slabs. Uh, section 1705 also includes some information on diaphragms on coal form steel light construction and the requirements for periodic special inspection of the diaphragms and collector elements. This is an area that is growing in, in popularity. There's more uh, focus on developing lighter structures and incorporating coal form steel supports 
along with the profiled steel deck panels. So this is another section to pay particular attention to in the International Building Code. 